All right, so I just got a shipment from GoPro, and guess what? Box number one, box number two, box number three. They're all here. Let's open them up, let's see what's inside, and let's get started. Gotta have that. Let's open this bad boy up. Always cut away from you. Lesson for all of you people out there using knives dangerously. Always cut away from yourself. We've got number one, the tempered glass lens screen protector. Get this out of the package here. Box number one. I'm gonna put this aside. Let's open up box number two. We've got Suction cup mount, that is box number two. And last but not least, box number three. Our protective housing. Box number three. I forgot my GoPro, let me go grab the GoPro. All right, back. Here is the GoPro 8, I've got that right here. So first, what I wanna do is, I wanna take a look at the protective housing. So the last box that we opened, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up, show you guys, see what this looks like, and I'm gonna go ahead and test it out later. But first, let's take a look and see what this actually feels like, the build quality, and uh, things like that. Instructions, don't need that, box, don't need that. Let's get rid of it. All right, so interesting package in here. How do you open this thing? It's like shut from all, oh wait, wait, wait. Oh, don't need that. So these come off, okay, we've got that. Let's take this out, we've got that. And looks like, ha, ah, it's like a, Puzzle. You got like you gotta like figure out how to open this thing. There's that. There's the plate, and that's all there is to it. So, a quick lesson for those of you who have not watched my previous video. I did unboxing. I'll go ahead and card it here, and I talked about uh, just real quickly the drawbacks of the uh, the GoPro Hero 8. So, for those of you that might not know, with the Model 8, uh, they basically took this lens and made it within the camera itself. So this particular lens piece is not removable in the eight where it was previously in the seven. So this thing, if this lens cracks, this glass cracks, basically you're out of luck. If you have their insurance, then you can go ahead and send it back to GoPro and they'll fix it. And I'm not sure if there's like a fee that you have to pay but otherwise you're basically out of luck and you've got to go out and buy a brand new GoPro and these things aren't cheap as you guys know. So I wanted to take a look and see what options there were available to best protect this and I came across this housing which is basically a protective housing that's also used for diving. So this gives it a lot more range for diving underwater and it protects it fully. Now one thing I will tell you and I'll go ahead and show you guys the, the GoPro website now. When, when you're looking at these pictures on the GoPro's website you can't tell if this particular part of the glass, uh, if this is an opening or if this is like, the, this lens is showing through an opening or if there's an actual glass. So I can confirm there is an actual glass on here that will protect this camera fully. So obviously it looks like it'll make it look a lot bigger. So let's go ahead and pop this in here and see what it looks like. So first there's a locking mechanism here. So it looks like there's an arrow pointing this way. So let's go ahead and press that. And then it looks like you should be able to hold that and bring it up. Yeah, so there's a lock right here. You push that tab in and you lift it up 
and then you should be able to open this back housing, I think. Yes, that was a nice little pop. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and put this bad boy in here. Close it up and it looks like it's got a really good, nice seal to it. And click, there it is. That actually looks really nice. Uh, it looks like it's fully covered. Um, there's a ring here on the inside that kind of seals it shut. And so for all of you out there that are looking to do a lot of things and push this camera to the limit, uh, this case might be the best way for you to go. Cause this thing covers it fully and it's pretty, pretty thick. Actually, let's go ahead and peel this off too. It's always satisfying to peel that thing off, it's pretty cool. But yeah, so let's go ahead and unlock this real quick and take it apart. And I'm gonna show you the second plate that comes with it. Here is the seal that I was talking about. So you guys can see the seal, the white seal right here. That kind of gives it a nice tight close. And then it's got a second plate, which is this right here. And this is not fully closed. So this will give you access to the back screen where with this fully closed one, this is actually closed from here. So this will seal it and you will not be able to access your touch screen in the back. So I think with this one, let's see what it says on here. Uh, skeleton, uh, skeleton back door for touch screen access plus better audio. That's what it says on here. So I don't know if you guys can see this on my overhead cam, but I'll go ahead and put it here. This might not even pick it up. Well, it says it right there. So hopefully you guys will take my word for it. So let's go ahead and take this off. There we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this door off. Basically it just comes off like that. There's a hinge on the bottom. And then you can go ahead and put this back on. It snaps like that. So still a good seal. Let's go ahead and put this back in here and see what it looks like. And go ahead and close this up. So yeah, you have access to the full screen here. And this way, I wonder, I'll have to find out, but I wonder how, if it changes the depth of dive you can do with this back plate versus this back plate, because this one again is fully closed. This one exposes the camera for the touch screen and better audio, which if you're diving, you're not gonna need better audio. You're just capturing what's in front of you. So um, I assume this will make the distance a little bit less, but I will take a look at it and see. So personally, what I think about this is it definitely makes it a little bit more bulkier. But what I'm thinking is this might be the better way to go to protect your GoPro from any type of damage in the front screen as well as the back screen just because it's fully covered and it's in there. There's nothing that's gonna to be touching it. So whether it's mud, uh, debris of some sort, rocks, things like that, this will be fully covered. So I think this is going to be the best way to go to protect it, especially when you know you're going to be using it in situations where you're really pushing it and trying to capture that image that is going to be somewhat extreme. But this does make it look a lot more rugged, a lot more tough. I love the fact that they've got these little screws in the side of it and that, that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, overall feels very sturdy. So it's got the brackets in the bottom. So this is kind of pushing it back to your old school where you had the housing for the seven and these are built in, so it kind of defeats the purpose of having the built-in housing for the eight with this case on, but nonetheless, it looks pretty decent, I think. So go ahead and drop a comment below, let me know what you guys think, if, you, if this is something that you would use. Again, I'm gonna be testing this over the next week or so, and I'll be doing a separate video in the comparison to the GoPro Hero 7, so if you haven't subscribed, please go down and subscribe and hit that red button. Turn that bell notification on so you know every time I upload a video, and I will keep you guys posted on actual performance of this. See you soon, bye.